Hi everyone. So I wasn't really sure what to do today and then I realized that I have a bunch of stuff that I bought in June that I could talk about. So we're going to do a June haul. So before I start, I want to make it very clear that I am not a beauty blogger. I am not a professional. I know hardly anything about makeup. So what I'm showing you today could be really bad stuff for all I know, but it seems to work for me. Not everything I'm showing you is makeup, but a few items are. Alright, so let's get this started. So the first thing I'm going to show you are these matte liquid lipsticks by Gina Taylor. So it was $7.99 for the whole pack and I thought that was pretty good because usually you can only get like one liquid lipstick for $7.99 so this way I get to try a whole bunch for the same price. Right now I have three of these on because I kept trying them and not liking the way they looked so I was mixing them and I'm pretty sure I have these three? No, these two. I think it was these two and then this one. And then after I put them on, because it's um, a matte lipstick, it dries, like it goes really dry. Um, and I like my lips to be very moisturized. So then I put on some what I thought was going to be light or clear chapstick. Uh, I, I grabbed my Burt's Bees. Um, it's tinted and it's very tinted, so I ended up kind of red and it looks more red on camera than it does in real life, but whatever. It looks okay. It's a lot darker than what I usually wear on my lips, but you know, I think it looks okay. So this is a five piece matte color collection and it says just to apply to lips for a velvety matte pop of color that lasts all day. Uh, not tested on animals. So that's nice. I always feel guilty when I buy stuff like beauty products that are tested on animals just because I feel like animals shouldn't have to suffer for my the way that I look like for my vanity so so far I'm liking them I'll show you a few of the swatches on my arm just so you can see what they look like individually I've also got a couple of elf products that I ordered from Amazon this is an elf eye refresh and the e.l.f. products are really cheap and they're also not tested on animals. And it just has this like little ball on the end and you just kind of like smooth it over. Yeah, it feels really nice. But usually I buy like eye creams and stuff like that. So when I put this on, I kind of feel like it's not doing anything. I really, I really want to moisturize around my eye area. It says the cooling sensation of the rollerball brightens and refreshes the eye area to help alleviate under eye puffiness and dark circles. I don't know, so far it seems to be working okay. Okay, so the other e.l.f. product that I got was this eyeliner and shadow stick. So far I've just been using the eyeliner and it's just one of the like, you just twist it. I like these because I am terrible at doing eyeliner so using a stick kind of gives me more control over it. Uh, I find that when I use the liquid, it just ends up all over the place and, you know, I, I can't even, I won't do a wing. Like, there's no way. I've, I've tried before and I kept having to remove it with um, eye makeup remover and I had to try it so many times that my eye was starting to get all irritated and pink from me trying to do it over and over again. So I think it looks fine without it, so I just don't do it. <laughs> it also comes with this uh, they call it a shadow stick, I think? Yeah. So it also comes with a shadow stick. And it also goes up like this. But I've tried this and I don't know if it's the right color for me. It kind of looks orange and I find that I look kind of bad with orange eyeshadows and stuff like that. So the reason I bought this is I have been using other like twistable eyeliners. Um, but they were products that were tested on animals and I'm trying to get away from that. So I know that e.l.f. isn't tested on animals, and I saw that they had this one. And I think it was around $10, so that's pretty good. Uh, and the color I got for the liner is brown. So next I got these headphones, and they're kind of an unknown brand, I guess. It's Sound Peats. This is the packaging. It's kind of destroyed on top. I'll just hide that. Uh, so that's the packaging and this is, I mean, I don't know how to display this, like that's 
That's the headphones. <laughs> I bought these because my other like earbud headphones, uh, one of them uh, had actually died, so I could only listen on one side. And I liked my old ones because they have this little thing on them that lets you control uh, when you want to pause it or like, I think the other buttons were to turn up or down the volume, but they didn't really work that well with my phone. So I just used it to pause whatever I was listening to. Uh, but my new ones, they don't have that and that's completely my fault. I forgot to look for that in the instructions when I was buying them. <laughs> but they seem to work really well. So I was actually looking for cordless headphones, but when I was looking at the description for them, it said that they only last up to seven and a half hours, and that's my whole work day. So if they last only up to seven and a half hours, I mean, there's a chance that they're not going to work the whole day, and that's something that I really need them for. <laughs> if you saw my podcast video, you'll know that I use them all day to listen to podcasts. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with them. They work okay. The next thing I got was this Alba Botanica um, shaving cream. So this is it here. And the one I got is Mango Vanilla and it smells so good. Oh my god, it smells amazing. So it says there's no animal testing, artificial colors, or parabens. And this one was only $3.99. So next I got this Green Beaver Castile Soap. Uh, I like Green Beaver because they're a local company. They're just outside of... Ottawa, which is where I live. So it says that you can use these for body wash, hand soap, dish soap, floor cleaner, tub, stove. They are also biodegradable and vegan. And it smells so nice. Uh, the scent is zesty orange. Oh my god, it smells so good. It smells like uh, like a freshly peeled orange. And I got this one for $7.99. So this next product, I think a lot of people are going to think is kind of strange that I'm talking about, but these have uh, kind of saved my sanity on bus rides. <laughs> I got some earbuds. <laughs> so these are the Heroes. So I bought Heroes before. The package that I have looks a little different. They both say Ultimate Softness, so I think they're the same. Yeah, I use these on the bus. Buses tend to be really loud. People are always talking and, you know, there's babies crying and it just gets a little loud sometimes. And I read on the bus, which you probably already know from my other videos. These really help to block out a lot of the louder noises. They don't block out everything, which is kind of a negative and a positive. I would prefer to be completely quiet just so that I can enjoy my reading or if I'm using my phone on the bus. But I kind of like that you can hear some sounds because then it means that if anyone talks to me, I can hear them a little bit. So yeah, if you take the bus or you know any other type of public transit and you're finding it really annoying because it's so loud, try using some earplugs. <laughs> and I don't remember how much these were, I'll, I'll put the price up again on the screen for you. So the last item I'm going to talk about is a candle that I bought and it's actually the one right over there. And this one is Raspberry Ripple. Um, I'm gonna show you the lid, but uh, it's got a hole in it. <laughs> so usually when I want to extinguish a flame on a candle, I'll just put the lid on um, and it traps all the smoke in. So like this one I have over here, uh, this is the lid for it. So I just pop it on and it just traps all the smoke in and it extinguishes it. I was a little concerned about doing that with this candle because this lid is flimsy plastic, but I thought, you know, it'll be fine. <laughs> so I tried it and that was the result. <laughs> but other than that, I really like this candle. It smells just like a toy that I had when I was a kid. I had this doll that was like a cupcake girl. She, um, her dress was like the wrapper of a cupcake and then she had a hat that looked like icing. So when you flipped the, um, her dress up, <laughs> which sounds really weird, but you flipped her dress up and then it turned her into a cupcake, which I always thought was so weird because it meant that she didn't have any legs. <laughs> anyway, so the bottom of it had a little scent, uh, circle on it and it smelled almost exactly like this. And yeah, of course, 
I don't remember how much it cost, but if I can find my receipt, I'll, I'll post how much it was on the screen. So I hope you liked this video about my June haul. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. Bye! Bye.